In this video we will talk about CTrader Automate Custom Windows. We will explain what CTrader Automate Custom Windows are and how they can be used in your CBOTs and indicators. We will present an example of using a custom window in a CBOT, as well as develop a basic CBOT example demonstrating how you can add a custom window in your own indicator. Let's start by navigating to the CTrader Automate section to see an example of how CTrader custom windows can be used in your CBOTs and indicators. We will create a new indicator and just use a ready-made example found in the CTrader Help Center. Let's create a new indicator, copy and paste the sample code and then build our indicator. Let's add an instance of the indicator on the chart. As soon as the indicator is added, we can see the custom window popping up. In this window, we created a complex form displaying the symbol information to show what can be achieved with a CTrader custom window. There are a couple of reasons to use a CTrader custom window instead of a native WinForms or WPF window. Firstly, CTrader custom windows already come with a native style that matches the CTrader look and feel. Then, WinForms and WPF windows require special handling and advanced programming skills since they run on different threads. Such issues do not exist with CTrader custom window. Now we will demonstrate how you can add controls on your chart and interact with them by developing an example indicator. We will create a new indicator and call it custom window example. In this example, we will add a custom window and then demonstrate how we can add custom controls to this window. We will declare it in the initialize method and then show it using the window show method. We will configure the title, the window startup location and set it as topmost window. Let's build the indicator and add an instance on the chart. We can see the window popping up as soon as the indicator is initialized. Now let's add a control inside this window. We will add a text box with some text in it. We will also define text box vertical alignment, horizontal alignment, font size and font weight. Let's build the indicator and see the new window with the control added. Now let's modify our custom window to see some more properties of the window class and how they affect the outcome. We can start with adding a width and height for our window.
Let's build and see our indicator again. Now our window area is a rectangle area with a width and height of 800 pixels. Next change will be to add a range in which the window can be resized. We will add the min height, max height, min width, and max width parameters. We build and play with the pop-up window. The new window can be resized only within the specified range. At last we can change the window's background color and make it non-resizable. We can build and see the window's new color. As you can see, CTrader's custom windows are very flexible and allow for a lot of customizations. Some more properties you can modify include properties to define the window's margins and padding, the window's visibility and if the window is active or not. Moreover CTrader's custom windows expose methods to show, hide, and close the window as well as trigger a lot of events that can be handled using event handlers. We hope that you found the video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.